And one of the things I think the ACS CAN does really, really well is we create hope. I am a childhood cancer survivor. So I was diagnosed with bone cancer when I was 15. I got involved with the American Cancer Society about eight, nine years ago with their Relay for Life events. A whole new world <laughs> opened up to me. It was these people that knew exactly how I felt about being a cancer survivor, you know, especially being a teenager or a young adult. I started volunteering with Relay for Life and then I started um, with Cancer Action Network and I did a lot of advocacy events and then now here in Idaho, I'm very fortunate to be involved and advocate for other cancer survivors. Research is very important. We fight for more money every year for the National Institute of Health. NIH is a huge source of funding for all biological science, especially cancer science. The, the biggest benefit of NIH is that it can give a lot more money than private organizations and can give across the whole nation and is really a big uh, impact for cancer research. Idaho is a very rural state. The majority of our population is spread out and um, a lot of those people don't have access to good screening and it's one of the reasons that Idaho is so poor on that list when it looks at who's getting screened for breast cancer, who's getting screened for colorectal cancer. In January every year we have our Cancer Advocacy Day and volunteers from throughout the state of Idaho come in to the Capitol to talk to legislators. We create subject matter experts so that when they meet with their lawmakers, it's just like you've got 30 or 40 or 50 state directors, people like me that do this full time, making a difference. When you share your personal stories with them, it really connects with them. It makes a huge difference when you ask them to support policies and bills. I got involved with ACS CAN after I lost a friend of breast cancer. The breast cancer had traveled outside of her breast tissue into the rest of her body. For her, it was in her bones. In that amount of time that she had left, we worked on several different uh, projects to help um, get metastatic breast cancer some more awareness. And um, when she passed, um, she encouraged me to, Chad, just go do. And um, her friends encouraged me that um, one of the things that that could mean was to get involved politically and help raise more money for uh, cancer research and um, be a cancer advocate. When I was born, I didn't have a grandmother because she already had passed away from ovarian cancer. And then when I was in high school, my mom also got ovarian cancer. My aunt, um, she also passed away from breast cancer. And then it was my own cancer when I was um, only 32 years old. And I came to help the chapter today for Lights of Hope so that I could just help set up the bags for people who are my family, myself, and even some of my patients um, that have luminaries on the steps. Lights of Hope is an opportunity for us to reflect, to remember, and ultimately to, to move us forward. We take all of these bags, we send them to Washington, D.C., where we wrap the reflecting pool in Washington, D.C., and come together united as a country and saying, we will win the fight against cancer. We will win that fight in Idaho. We will win that fight across the nation. We have uh, a really close-knit group of a lot of great volunteers. We have a lot of youth members who are part of ACS Can Idaho, um, coming from Boise State or even high school students who participate. I feel like I am being heard and I've been able to grow as a person. There's so many things that you can do to help educate people and to help change things, even just by signing a petition or buying um, a bag for Lights of Hope. Um, there's so many ways to get involved and it's so easy. When you jump in to be a cancer advocate, you are going to have a whole group of people behind you, supporting you, mentoring you, modeling for you, and walking you through every step of the journey. It's amazing the broad spectrum that we have as volunteers and we need more. <laughs>